I'm Nadine Thornhill, sexuality educator, and welcome to You Ask, I Answer, where I answer your questions about sex and sexuality. Today's question comes to us from Facebook. I transitioned from male to female, and a stradiol, a hormone, has changed my libido. I no longer have a penis that can become erect, and body parts are feeling different sensations. I have a female partner, and we're finding it difficult to relearn how to pleasure each other. What might you suggest? Thank you so much. Love this question. So in a moment, I'm going to talk about strategies that you can use to try and rediscover your sexual pleasure with your partner. But I also love this question because it touches on something that really affects every single human being. And that is that our bodies change. That's just part of the wonderful adventure we call being alive. One thing that we may not talk about a lot is the fact that when our bodies change, our sexual response and the way we experience sexual pleasure can change. So what are changes that can affect our sexual pleasure? Well, injuries, acute illness, a surgical transition, birth control, medication, postpartum, mental health issues, hormonal transition, a chronic illness, pregnancy, a cosmetic surgery, aging, hormone replacement therapy, paralysis, puberty, mental health issues, menopause. Your body's been through some sort of change or is going through a transition and now sex is different. So what do you do now? If you have a sexual partner, one of the first things you can do is just to be as open and honest about what's going on as possible so that they understand it's not about them, it's just, you know, one of these things that happen. And it can be a really emotional experience when, you know, you've been going along through your life and sex has been great and you understand your body and then something happens and you may not be as familiar with your body and its sexual response anymore. And that's totally okay. It's totally okay to feel emotional. It's totally okay to feel a little lost. There may be, you know, a bit of a grieving process involved because you have lost something and you're moving on to something new. But also know that with time, with experimentation, with a spirit of fun and adventure, it's totally possible for you and your partner to relearn your body and rediscover what's going to work for you moving forward. So let's talk specifically about some things you can try if you're going through or have been through a hormonal transition and your body is just responding differently than it used to because a lot of our sexual response is influenced by the hormones we have in our body and now you're taking a stradiol so you have a bunch of new estrogen in your body so that is going to change the way your body responds to sexual stimulation. The hormone you're taking a stradiol is an estrogen and a common effect of estrogen is that it sort of changes your body's erogenous zones and your body's erotic reception. So whereas before your erogenous zones may have been a little bit more focused and specific, when you have more estrogen in your system, oftentimes what happens is your erogenous zones become a little bit more spread out and more diffused. You may also find that your skin is more sensitive. So part of rediscovering your sexual pleasure may involve um, exploring the body more sort of globally and as a whole and moving away from, you know, just the genitals, the boobs, the butt, the sort of, you know, conventional erogenous zones and seeing, you know, what sort of sensations you have in the rest of your body. And as you're exploring with your partner, this is going to require a fair amount of communication about, you know, what's feeling good for you, what's feeling good for them. And so something you might want to do and play around with is engaging in, you know, intimate loving touch that isn't specifically sexual massaging, holding hands, touching, you know, parts of your, each other's bodies while you're clothed in different ways. And then you can give each other feedback about, you know, what's working for your body, what, you know, might, you might want to change. Oh, you know, yeah, you're, you know, you're rubbing my shoulders and, you know, that's interesting. But right now I think I might want, you know, more stroking something like that. And that's just a way for the two of you to get used to communicating about different kinds of touch, but you're not doing it 
uh, while sex is happening because not that sex isn't uh, awesome, but we also know that sometimes during sex you can feel very vulnerable. It can be, you know, a little bit harder to communicate. The stakes are a bit higher. So just having that sort of non-sexual but still intimate loving touch lets you connect and it gives you a chance to sort of practice some of your communication when the stakes are maybe feel a little bit lower. So when you're getting into sexual exploration, there's a technique called pleasure mapping that can be really, really helpful. How it works is that your partner tries all different types of, you know, touch and stimulation on your body in different places. You can sort of start wherever you want to, but again, I encourage you to, you know, explore the entire body, not just, you know, the boobs, but the genitals. And what you can do is give your partner feedback on how you're responding to the different types of touch. And in doing that, you can start to discover what types of touch start to turn you on and in which places. When you're giving feedback, uh, what some people find helpful is to use a scale system. So like a one to 10 system. And so as your partner is touching you in a certain way, you just give them feedback. Like, eh, five out of 10, eight out of 10. Uh, you know, 10 being I'm extremely turned on and one being like, no, no, not, not into it at all. And what's helpful about the scale system is that it's not a commentary on your partner or their technique or, you know, how good of a sex partner they are. You're just talking about your body and how your body's responding. There are also toys you can use. One of my colleagues recommended the Pulse 2 by Hot Octopus, and this is a vibrator that is can be used with a penis, either an erect or a flaccid penis, and you can also use it with your sexual partner. So I'm gonna put the link for that product down below. They have a lot of really good information on their website about how the toy works, how it fits, where you can get it. Um, just a heads up though, the language on their website is pretty uh, heteronormative and cisnormative, so just be aware of that. I'm also going to link to a couple of books down below that you might find helpful. One of them is Girl Sex 101 by Alison Moon, and in that book she includes a lot of information about how gals with penises can have sex and enjoy sexual pleasures in ways that work with their bodies. Navigating sexual changes is a deep topic and we just skimmed the surface today, but I want to give a big shout out to some fellow sex educators, Alex S. Morgan, Allison Moon, Charlie Glickman, and Hernando Chavez, who gave me some great information and wonderful suggestions that I was able to include in this video. And of course, I want to thank you for sending in your question and opening up this really important and fascinating topic. So if you have a question for me, you can write me here on my Facebook page. You can find me over at Twitter at Nadine Thornhill, or you can get in touch through my website, nadinethornhill.com contact. Thank you again for watching this video. Have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.